go. Hello, and welcome to we Lethal League. I'm here with Hi. Garrett, and we're gonna have a 1v1 deathmatch. I forgot to tell you that we die at the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not the loser dies, we just both die. This game... It, it's very, uh, it's very open about its about its rules. Let's just get the get the controls down for a second. Button check. All right, I'm good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. How do you taunt? Uh, why? That's what I have it set to. None of my none of my things do that. Oh, I well. think you just like automatically set it to where, to the your taunts would also be the attack button, so the attack just overrides it. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. I'm. Eh. Ah, I'm back so good this. to play this game again. I know. <laughs> Eat me! Did you need a full gauge for that? Uh, yeah. It's, that's my special. Oh, we yeah. never really did a one v one, did we? I mean, no, there was times where it was like the two of us left in a four player game, but that doesn't really count. Yeah, dude. Good times. Good times where just we beat each other to the ground with the ball. Yeah. And then you ate me. Dude, I played this game online a bit. It was really awesome. Yeah. Like, I played with this dude that was I was just, like, a little bit better than, so I, like, won by a tiny bit every match. So it was, it was always, just, like, really fun. It was kind of like this unsaid, like, rivalry going on. Because I just barely beat him, and he just immediately readied up for another go. Yay. So it was, like, this kind of cool little friendship that I have with this dude on, like, we'll never meet again. Like a Swedish guy. Maybe. Usually the Swedish people are what you meet on this game. Really? Yeah. Well, at least every time I've played online with this, I've only gotten Swedish people. And I, lo I love me some Swedes. They're awesome. Swedes. Yeah, Swedes. They're pretty keep sweet. keep forgetting the bunt. Oh, yeah. Ah. I have no idea. <laughs> Hi-ya! <laughs> We're <What>? so bad! <laughs> Speak for yourself, honky! Why didn't that bl bunt it? I it don't. looks like it would've. You can't blunt ultis? No, you can totally bunt ultis. Oh. I don't know how I hit that. Unless I started writing again. Cool. I mean, we're in the middle of recording, so I'd rather not talk about our personal lives. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd forgotten that we were doing something like trying to engage ourselves. I mean, it's not like I'm describing something Jesus. full on about myself. Like, I'm not like giving out my social security number or anything. <laughs> Gary Mosheri, expert YouTuber. Do you ever need a social security number? Hit up his videos. <laughs> Three six four five nine two two eight five. That's actually not it. <laughs> of course it isn't. <laughs> God dang it. Jesus, this is getting close. I thought that killed me for a second. <laughs> Alright. We do a gentleman's bow. Such <laughs> BM. Uh, I always love a good comeback story where the hero at the very last second wins. Silence, Garrett? I'm sorry, I was taking a drink of my delicious orange Gatorade. Jesus! John eats on camera, you drink on camera. I'm sorry, listen, listen. The the good YouTubers actually eat on camera. Like, look at Dodger. <laughs> That's a difference. Her YouTube channel is about eating on camera. Well, it's about drinking on camera. My ball! I'm taking my ball, I'm gonna play over here. So Garrett, do you still stand by your day one statement that this game is is the balls? Oh yeah, it's the balls. Oh. The game is the balls. It's really fun. It's so good. I've never once come across a negative situation involving this game, and it's so good. I mean, it's a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, it's really amazing. God dang it! <laughs> it's in a uh, there are a lot of games that are designed really well that even they're like multiplayer, but even if you lose, you don't feel bad about the loss because it just looks so damn cool to lose. Yeah. It's like whenever I play a Dragon Ball Z game, and just like, I lose a beam clash, and I'm like, I don't even care, because that was awesome. Or like, dying to a special in, in like, a lot of fighting games just looks so cool. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit laggy. No, I actually didn't hit it. No, but it like, <laughs> lagged for me. 
Oh, really? Like, you jumped in the air and then it just kind of, like, killed me. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I have some habit for some reason. Every time I, like, beat someone in a... In a... In a is it called a heat, right? Uh, a burst. Whenever I beat someone in a burst, I, like, turn away from them for some reason. My subconscious trying to be anime. I mean... <laughs> Oh, I thought I could. <laughs> I thought I was trying to bunt that. No, you're trying to eat it. That's how bunting works for Latch. He just bites the ball. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't jump as high as I wanted to. You gotta learn to dynamically jump. Yeah, you gotta or learn how to dodge the ball. Or, yeah. <laughs> I dig it. Ah! My words came directly back at me. Oh, your teeth were out of your mouth! <laughs> That's how that works. Only worth my time. I mean, yeah. I mean, what are you, a crocodile or an alligator? I forget. One of those things. One of them. I mean, it doesn't look like a real a animal if you look at him very closely. Look at those teeth. That's not how teeth work. I mean, some creatures look like that. I'm just- I enjoy this game. You're like, you don't need a whole lot different than this game. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, does, it has like different things, but I feel like just playing it normally. I would is, like, want just kind like, of relaxing. I would want like twelve more characters though. Like not even like for a real purpose. Like they could just be like reskins. Like <laughs> I just want a big character list that does nothing. What this game actually reminds me of is um, if you think about not in like gameplay exactly, but in, like its spirit. You kind of reminds me of the original Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, because it's got like a low. It's got a, it's a it, it's a different like new style fighting game, with like a small character roster, and it's got like this little story mode. But it's mostly about like playing, just kind of multiplayer. Yeah. Wait, is there a story? There's a little one. It's like it's like the original one in Smash that you oh. go through like you go like through the Mortal Combat style like after oh, this fight yeah, there's this yeah. fight, and then you fight this final boss that's a non-playable character. Wait, really? Yeah. Like, I've never actually played it, so I never really knew that. The boom box at the bottom of the screen comes to life. <laughs> what?! And it turns into a into a character and tries to kill you. I think I beat it. I can't remember if I beat it or I've seen a YouTube video of someone beating it. I mean, they're, they're, you definitely did one of those two things. So we are talking we... really casually for all this. I mean, I mean, what, how else are we gonna talk? I mean, we're two friends playing a game. We're not I just two best friends face though, because that's copyrighted. Well, no, they changed themselves to uh, uh, super best friends because they got four people. Still though, copyrighted. It's not really copyrighted. It's it's YouTube licensing. Yeah, I just like the things Latch says. <laughs> Bite me. Dead meat. God dang it, I was trying to be cool. <laughs> yeah! Oh. It's the little things in those animations you never see. Oh, that, I got pure black latch. Like those little animations, like the little spark that happened there, happens for like a millisecond when you hit the ball. And yeah. you don't realize it when you look at it, but when you like... You realize how cool it makes the, the hit look when it actually happens, and like completely super fast. God dang it. Okay, there we go. It's, it's amazing how little things like that can make a game just feel awesome. Yeah. Like this, this game has that kind of rule down, is that is that player feedback for what you're doing is like such a key thing in this game and it feels so good. Dude, that is so profound. But yeah, like, when you talk about game design, it's like a bunch of little, like, touches all add up to be one amazing thing. I did mean, you, look at Shovel Knight, for example. Did you watch Day 9 at all? Uh, no, he I said don't. that thing, like, very recently. Really? Like, like almost that exact thing. But yeah, I mean, that, I have heard true. a bunch of people say it before, so that's why I'm saying it. Jesus! God dang it! I got hit like three times there! Yeah. It's just, it's true that a lot of games... This is kind of like, almost like a podcast. A little bit. But it's Except true that... You know, a, there's action on screen. There's a lot of games that like... You see how great they are, and people try to copy things about them. But, in, in like, games they make. But you don't really ever realize that... Right in my face. 
the things that make that game great aren't the some singular big thing that made everything amazing. It's a bunch of little touches all put together with with big, good big ideas. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the one big touch is like what like big AAA games try to do. Yeah, and they try to like make that big thing a part of everything. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember uh, when Halo Two came out, the big thing was oh you get two guns. Yeah, and then that became more of like a, a standard for console PC sh console shooters. I don't know if that happened a lot on PC. I didn't play PC back then. Um, I know Call of Duty had a Kimbo stuff, but I never really yeah, played that much. Yeah, I think that, that was much. before Halo 2, though, or after Halo 2. Yeah, and, and the funny thing was, after Halo 3, they stopped doing it. Really? Yeah. So, like, they had ODST, they had Reach, and Halo 4, and no double, like, dual wielding. Apparently the Master Chief Collection is just still broken as hell. Really? Yeah. Like, it's still not working. I just love... That's one of my favorite parts of a Lethal League, is just, like, making the ball go super fast and then just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> like, waiting to die, because you no, know what's going to happen. No, I just wait oh, until God, you die. Oh, God, I have one life. Yeah. This is my plan. I just lull you, lull you into a false sense of security with, like, casual game design talk. I mean, is it really casual? I mean, if it were casual, we would be actually saying stuff about the industry instead of just, like, talking about a certain mechanic in a game. I didn't activate it. Yeah. I like I just like paused it and I didn't like push a direction. Well if you double tap it, that's how you do it, so Well yeah, I know, but like I activated, I spent my gauge, you saw that. Yeah. I mean that was awesome. It didn't do anything. But that was awesome. I think this this thing's about this game that I realized that like our thing mechanics we didn't even realize back when we played when I thought it was so good. Like do you know about um countering when you're charging up a hit? Um if you press um, bunt while you're, like you're in the like you know when you hit a ball it like stays in midair. Yeah. If you press bunt while you're while you're like charging up the hit like Dragon Ball Z style, it'll like block someone if they try to hit it that exact second. Oh uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. And it makes them like uh like tank off of you. Yeah, and then basically they get hit by the ball because you're going it's gonna go so fast. So fast. I was just spamming bunt. <laughs> what are you doing? It's my bow dance. It sounds like a like a Japan thing. Why do you have to say it so weirdly? Because I liked Code Monkeys as a kid. God awful show. It's not as good as I remember it. All I know about Code Monkeys is that Code Monkey likes Fritos and you like spam a Mountain Dew. And Code Monkey like you. Code Monkey does like you. I love you, whores! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that was like the ending thing, and it was like an actual like like line from the show. All I the the thing that I saw that I know about Code Monkeys was there was this animation like in World of Warcraft with the Machinima that was an actual gorilla from World of Warcraft working at like a pirate at, like a pirate bay. Not no like bay. booty bay, yeah. And he like he just like ate Fritos in Mountain Dew. <laughs> And then there was like this this woman, and he liked her. God dang it! I'm bad at this. This ah! care. This music. I was actively trying to avoid the ball. <laughs> I did it. Only worth my time. I really like characters that are like very arrogant. Oh yeah. Not just be I don't want- I don't entirely like the- I know I'm arrogant sometimes, but I don't entirely like being an arrogant person because I think it's mean. Oh, well, that's kind of inherently what it is. But I- I enjoy Latch because he's just like all the cocky things he says is like hardly worth my time. Well, well, you have to think about it. Like, he is an apex predator, so it makes sense that he has like, you an know- An aggressive personality? Yeah. Have we ever played on this map? God, I don't think so. This I think is I'm, this I, is like super long map. Look at this. It's like very wide, but like and very, very short. Look yeah, at this. like yeah, it's a very low ceiling. This is cool. I don't. It's weird. I've never seen this before. I think I maybe saw it once when I was playing with my other buddy. It's weird. I wish I had a taunt button. What did you just do? I was uh, that was my right. That was my uh, neutral taunt. You have one for every direction and a neutral one. I can do this. If only this sport was real, then people could actually get murdered by a <laughs> an anti-gravitational ball. 
that somehow maintains momentum. This thing goes beyond real physics. It's anti-friction, anti-gravity. How does it let us hit it then? If there's no friction, it would just like slide off of us. Well, no, because we're like hitting it square. That doesn't matter. Clearly, you don't know how friction works. Still, though. Yeah! I feel like we're, we're, we're still pushing it. I mean, didn't you watch Magic School Bus? That's not how friction works. Oh, <laughs> I pressed the hit button. <laughs> Bet you did. Oh my god, I'm losing so many lives. I think because I'm playing a bit too aggressively, yeah. that doesn't work with my personality. Yeah, boy! Oh, I was gonna just hit it and then eat the ball immediately. <laughs> ah! I like the way I fall backwards. <laughs> yeah. Like a defeated villain. I mean, you are- you do represent, like, a mega corporation. Maybe you are a villain. Yeah! <laughs> He's just, like, running like a Sonic character. Alright, I think that'll be it for this, but I really enjoyed that. Some good games. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!